Happy Veterans Day. This is how I'm spending my Veterans Day. Nice and quiet and peaceful. Cheers. So I'm sitting here in backcountry, Shenandoah National Park. And by the time you watch this, I mean, I'll be out of the forest because I have no reception. And even if I did, I have airplane mode on. But I did check because I was going to Google when the sunset was supposed to happen because I didn't really plan too well. I kind of... A lot of times fly by the seat of my pants and so I got a map out map number 11 or 10 no it's 11 for the Shenandoah National Forest so I identified a route and I always pick a route that's gonna have like the most wicked incline ever <laughs> and there's a big mountain behind me Oh, so anyway, I read the map wrong and there's no water near me. <laughs> I would have to climb, and when I say a mountain, this is Shenandoah, but I'd have to climb a pretty feetful flight of <laughs> rocks and slippery leaves. Oh, it's really slippery, by the way, out here, because there's like... I passed one person on the trail and she was leaving the trail and there was no cars parked out here. And so I asked her if she knew if there was water and of course she didn't know because she didn't go down this way. But as soon as I got down here and saw the dry riverbed, I knew I probably didn't plan appropriately, but I brought about three liters of water and it's only one night, right? But if you know me, I drink a lot of water, like a gallon a day. So I'm gonna sit here, enjoy the quietness and drink some tea, some stash tea. Christmas Eve is actually the name of it, it's really good. And I'm gonna do what we call in the military, which is Ranger TV. I'm gonna watch some Ranger TV right here. And just take a moment. I mean, yeah, I feel like the last few weeks have been like super, super hectic. And I also recognize that I'm the one that is in control of my life being hectic or not, for the most part. I mean, there are some things that are completely out of your control if a family member gets ill or get into a car accident, you lose your job, things get hectic. That is not my story. So it makes me take a moment to self-assess and identify where am I misaligned that is causing all of this hecticness to happen. So I figured what's the best way of reconnecting with yourself is getting into nature and get completely away from society where you don't even have a reception all by yourself with it's only you and your thoughts so here i am and i'm gonna figure some things out maybe i won't figure everything out But I will tell you that I had anxiety for a myriad of reasons coming out here 
I think primarily because the water, once I realized there was no water, I almost turned around and hiked back out. But it's a really, really steep, steep hike. <laughs> I was like, fuck. It was a long hike down. It's gonna be a long hike back. And also it's really quiet. And usually I hike next, to, usually I camp next to a river. But it's dry. The river's dry. So, if you remember that part of the story. <laughs> God. I knew I should have purchased that extra bottle of water at Dunkin' Donuts. So I'm going to challenge you as I sign off here. And I'm going to challenge you to, as we're coming to the end of the new year, of the end of this year and into a new year, everybody does these new year's resolutions. I don't, I do goals all year long, but what I do what I am intentional about doing at the end of the year is taking an observational look at my life to see what I have accomplished, but not basing my self-worth or my accomplishments solely on the things that I've done as material things. And examples like the Jacks Act or maybe teaching at Harvard, that's a big thing. But instead, looking at how I've grown spiritually and as a person and my impact on the world as well as just my impact on myself. So I encourage you to examine your life. And it's pretty easy to say, you know, look at somebody and be like, we well, are not in flow, you need to change something, but it's not always that easy. You know, we can't just like quit our job. I mean, you could just quit your job, but a lot of people can't. So I would encourage you take a self-assessment of your life right now and identify, are you thriving right now where you're at in your life? I can tell you it's unique. And I'm not saying that I'm unique, but I feel like my situation is unique because I'm thriving, but it's much more hectic than I would want. And I know that the life that I desire, the life that I am manifesting will be less grind and hustle. I do not think I have gotten, I am continuously pulling myself out of the mentality of grind and hustle. I do not think you need to live that way. I absolutely disagree with people that say you need to wake up at 4 a.m. and you need to grind, 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 and you need to grind on the weekend, and if you're not grinding, you're doing something wrong. That's an old mentality. And it was, I think a lot of us think that way of like, if I'm not working really hard, then I'm not making money. And that, I don't think that way. But I think there are some remnants of that old mindset that I am still learning to let go of. So I can get out of this very hectic where people are like, wow, you're doing so much. And I am, I am doing so much, but I am at the same time doing too much. And so my dear friend, Erica actually told me, Eric McDuffie, you guys know her from the two cyber chicks. She had a good point and that made me think, you know, about a week ago, she said, you know, you're really good at all the things you're doing, but you're doing so much. Maybe you need to like hone in a little bit. And I know for me, I, uh, I need to, I think I need to do it more often. So this right now is me honing in. This is me just taking a moment away from everything and speaking to a camera <laughs> in the middle of a forest, because I feel like this needs to be shared with you all, because something that I'm going to be intentional about doing coming next year is being more raw and more authentic and sharing more of my journey. I think it's important. And man, I encourage you to go camping on your own, even if it's car camping. Now, I, know, I know not everybody is as adventurous as me and hikes in where there's no water, the bum F Egypt, but this makes me feel alive. Yeah. This makes me feel alive. All right, I'm out. I love you guys. 
you are perfect just the way you are and you're on the perfect path always let's wrap up this year amazingly strong and let's come into the new year prepared to just crush it wherever you're at and whatever that crushing looks like i love y'all peace Don't mind my lines on my forehead. I slept with a uh, like headband on to keep my ears warm last night, but check, listen to this. You literally, there's nothing. So it was a little creepy sleeping last night, being honest, because it was so quiet. And there was this, this animal, this creature that, <laughs> it sounded like it was getting murdered and it would do it like randomly scream. Like it would be, sound like a scream, like a really screechy scream. Yeah, so I finally around like midnight turned on some white noise on my phone because um, I have an app that I download it when I travel and I was finally able to go to sleep about that time but it was just too quiet. And so every time you heard like something like what sounded like falling down the mountain, um, like a rock or it wasn't an animal, there was probably squirrels, but for the most part, it was pretty, pretty quiet, which can be very unnerving. I feel like when we're not used to being in such silence, So there was definite moments of like questioning my life decision last night of like, man, was this a good idea? Is this going to be an another Blair Witch project <laughs> for anybody that watched the Blair Witch? I grew up in the country and like uber remote, like mile or two mile long driveway, 48 acres, homeschooled, very remote, like no houses around us. And then we watched the Blair Witch Project. And then I was like terrified to go outside for a while because our property looked like the Blair Witch, kind of like this. I was just keeping an eye out for uh, stacked rocks. <sighs> it was nice to wake up this morning to a dewy, cold, 30 degree morning. And I realized I'm about out of water. So I skipped breakfast, of course, drink coffee. <laughs> And realize that I have an uphill climb for the next four or five miles. So, and it's, it's uphill. A lot of uphill, but I'll be fine. My bag's lighter because it doesn't have any water. <laughs> and I dumped my free dried, my food that was freeze dried. I was going to eat for breakfast. So I left it for the animals. So that's one less ounce. Ounces are pounds, right? <sighs> but overall... It was a good experience. I'm very tired because you don't really sleep amazingly. But I will tell you, if you're interested in a mat, sleeping mat, I have the best one. Oh my God, it was totally worth all of the dollar bills. <sighs> all right. I'm going to finish up my coffee. Throw this pack on. And do this climb up. I'll give you guys a a final thought once I get to the top, it's going to be a booger. But hopefully it's easier going up on slippery leaves than it is going down, which I would think so. Yeah. And I'm good at going up. I have genetically, I'm like a freak when it comes to carrying heavy things and climbing up mountains. So it's not cool. It's not cool. All right, I'm going to give you guys a 360 shot really quick, and then I'm going to sign out. But check this out. Mm. Thank God I know where the trail is. Have a great day. Bye.
So this was the supposed river that is completely dried up. God knows when the last time water actually ran through this thing, but yeah, I need to pay better attention to the map. 